Alrighty guys, we are kicking off this workout with a single dumbbell incline press. So you can see my bench is at an incline. I'm only using one dumbbell here and I'm gripping it nice and tight. Now the reason for this is because it's going to allow you to get a closer grip, which is going to hit the inner testicles. So keep your elbows pinched to your side, press all the way up, excuse my dog Navy, and squeeze your testicles nice and tight. I'm doing 10 reps and repeating this for a total of four sets. We're now moving into a tricep. So remember a tricep is completing three exercises back to back without resting in between. First exercise is chest, second is tricep, and third is biceps. So we're hitting all three muscle groups in one set. We're gonna repeat it three times. For the first exercise in this tricep, I am doing dumbbell flies. Now this will always and forever be one of my top favorite chest exercises. You're gonna wanna go down in weight because it is difficult. Keep a slight bend in your arms to really extend and expand the chest on the way down. You will feel this a lot on the outside of the chest. Gosh dang it, this guy hurts. So we are going to do 10 to 12 reps. I ended up going up in weight my last two sets and started out with 10 pounds, went up to I believe 15, which is pretty dang difficult. So then immediately after the dumbbell chest flies, I'm setting those down and using the bench for tricep dips. So something I like to do when creating workouts is to keep my supersets or my tricets all in the same area, all using the same equipment. So on these tricep dips, I'm going to extend my feet out to make it more difficult. If you need it a little bit more easier, scoot your feet in. My palms are facing away from me. I am dipping all the way down and pressing all the way up using my triceps and not my feet. Picking those dumbbells back up to end this tricep with biceps. Now this is a fun variation of the bicep curl while one arm curls outwards, one will curl forward, your palms are facing up. Be sure to keep your elbows pinched close to your side. All right, now I'm transitioning from the benches, dumbbell, barbell section over to the cable machine. So first we're gonna be doing a super set. So just like a tricep, we're going to transition from each exercise very speedily, but this time we only have two exercises. We're gonna be hitting triceps and chest. Finish that, move on to a final drop set of biceps. I've been doing so many dumbbell only workouts as of lately that I completely forgot about my all time favorite tricep exercise. Nothing else hits my triceps like this exercise does. So I'm bringing my arm straight out to the side, keeping it horizontal and extending out using only my tricep. This is an easy way for me to really focus on the muscle that is working and really isolate the tricep without moving any of my body. Now I'm doing this horizontal tricep extension on each arm, 10 to 12 reps, and then I'm going to move straight into a chest crossover. So all I did here was add the handle to the cable machine to make it a little bit easier to crib as you pull straight across your body. Still keeping that slight bend in my arm to once again really extend backwards, pull all the way across, really isolating that single chest muscle and pressing all the way across your body. So I like the cables because it really keeps the tension when you're pulling and you're releasing. Keep this exercise nice and slow. Make sure your feet are sturdy. We are repeating this superset for three complete sets. All right, guys, for the drop set, we are doing three sets. So you want to start at a pretty heavy, heavy weight. Drop sets aren't easy. So for me personally, I'm going to be starting at 40 pounds and I'm going to be doing eight reps. I'm going to lower my weight, 10 reps. Lower my weight one more time, 12 reps. That's going to finish off the drop set. We're just doing that one time. So really pick a weight that's gonna be challenging. So for this drop set, it is all about the biceps. I have a handle on the cable. The cable machine is moved all the way down and I am doing bicep curls. Now I have a slight lean forward in my body and I'm standing closer to the cable machine. This is going to keep the cable from hitting your 
hoo-ha. So keep your elbows pinched to your side the entire time. The main reason, once again, why I love the cable machine is because it's going to keep that constant tension in the biceps through the entire movement. So there's a lot of time under tension here. So once again, I'm lowering my weight and upping my reps with each set. Now I know drop sets can be a little bit confusing and sometimes intimidating, but definitely give it a try. It's been one of the best ways to just really burn out a muscle group. I'm gonna do one more. That was the challenge for you next. It's actually gonna be a fourth set with 15 reps. On a drop set, you really want to keep it going, really push yourself past your limits. Sometimes you're gonna think you can't you can't do it anymore. You would think it's gonna be really easy because your weight's lower, but girl, 15 reps after four. Oh, mm-hmm. Cindy and I have decided we're gonna do one more drop set, but this time we're starting at five pounds higher. <laughs> So as you can see, we did end up doing two sets of the drop set, exact same thing. I'm starting at eight, eight reps, going eight, 10, 12, 15. 